Can I see the ad that you answered? Yes. This is the ad that was okay. posted. This says vintage 83 Fleetwood Pace Arrow Motorhome, 454 Chevy chassis, Onan generator, rooftop air conditioning runs great. Now you have to tell me why you think you're entitled to your money back. Okay, you went um, the 29th the day after I worked, I got off of work. You have to tell me why you think you bought a 33 year old RV in running condition. You brought your mechanic. Your mechanic said, I assume your mechanic said buy it. Yeah, because he, that's he why said you brought it looked good. Well, he, that's why you brought your mechanic. He right. didn't hide anything. He said, go look at it. You want your mechanic to see it? See it. You drove it, seemed to drive okay. When you buy a 33-year-old piece of equipment, unless he gives you a guarantee, there are no guarantees. Well, he assured me that it was in perfectly running condition. That's, it was in perfectly good running condition. You ran it for 15 miles. Yeah, well, once I took it to get smog, uh, my jack was following me, and he called my brother Just a second. So you drove it to your father-in-law's house, and you parked it there. That was 15 miles. And when did you take it to be smogged? On what date? On the 30th. So the next day. The next day. So you drove it to be smogged. Yes. And how far did you have to drive it to the place where they were smogging it? Was it was 15 miles. Another 15 miles. It did not make it all the way. Okay, so. As I was driving to get a smog, he called my brother-in-law who was sitting inside the RV with me and called him, hey, there is smoke coming out of the RV. Please pull over. So I cautiously pulled over, and as I got off, there's a bunch of smoke coming out of the engine. We got out of the RV, and it died. I couldn't get it turned on. So I made sure it was okay to stay there overnight. I called the tow truck the next day and got it towed back to my father-in-law's house. You still have to tell me, sir, why you think you're entitled to your money back. When you buy a vehicle and the, they tell you it's in perfect running conditions, it shouldn't overheat. It should be in perfect running conditions, as he's promised, because it was fit for me to make my camping trip that weekend. Mr. Perez, your view of the law is wrong, and I'm going to explain why. When you are selling merchandise, any kind of merchandise, new or used, the chatter that a salesman tells you is what you call puffing. It's a cream puff of a car. It was only driven by a little old lady going to the Piggly Wiggly every Sunday to buy her groceries. Other than that, it's always been garaged. Nobody ever touched it. The car happens to be 30 years old, but it's in great shape. You went so far as to bring a mechanic who told you to buy it. And you drove it without incident the 15 miles to your father-in-law's house and part of the way to have it smogged. So it was running and you had no issues with the way it was running because you brought your family out to see what a great thing you had purchased. Right. I feel sorry for you, but there is no legal remedy unless your contract with him guarantees the car for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, six months. It, there are certain guarantees other than salesman puffing, and the salesman could be a private person or not.